Welcome back, Zero K fans. And I apologize, the last game I apparently mispronounced a name. It should have been Cebulak, not Sebulak. Sorry about that. I completely missed that it was a Polish name. I. Yeah, kind of hard to tell just because a lot of names are often odd things in computer games. So, yeah, I didn't realize that was actually a Polish word. I apologize, Tebulak, that. Or maybe I'm closer. I actually thought I was pretty good at pronouncing Polish names, but anyway. This game is going to be between Forever and I know you read this, and I know those are both in English. So, no issues there, despite the fact that both the players are Romanian. The... Hey, let's get started. It's on Avalanche, which actually I haven't really shown as a map in a very long time. Let's get on with it, nonetheless. So Forever, in the top left corner of the map, going for Klogobot Factory. Well... I know you read this. Also going for Clickbot Factory, the southeast corner of the map. And let's see, I know you read this. Going for three glaives to worker and forever starting out with worker. Interesting. I guess they're going for energy reclaim. Oh no, no, they're not. They're going for a proxy from the looks of it. Judging by their direction, I'll admittedly, I know you read this might spot that due to the trees being knocked down by the Rector. Sorry, not Rector, the Gremlin. Going for a scout. My mistake. That was actually just Gremlin. Yes, Forever's a little bit worried about an error start, which is not a valid concern. However, this Gremlin is going to get spotted. No, never mind. Forever, nice, nice juke there. Gets away from that. And Forever moving their glaives around as well, but having to go back to defend. Still should be able to do this no problem. Not even losing a glaive. Nice micro there. And Forever's commander in position to deal with the second glaive. While I know you read this, getting more glaives up after their Rector has been built up. Sorry, Conjurer being built up. Kind of forgot about that name change. Yeah, Forever's got a nice Scout Gremlin here. That is definitely very useful. The so Scout Gremlin right off there while Forever is... Well, just defending their base. No problems there. That Glaive goes down and Forever, I don't think, has lost a single Glaive so far. I'm pretty sure Forever is, in fact, completely in the lead when it comes to unit counts. However, I know you read this, it is building up more Glaives being fairly aggressive while Forever instead is going for Conjure and then Scythe. This is interesting. It wants to go straight for the kill. I mean, the Gremlin does see what's going on. Forever has total knowledge. This is his point of view. He's got total knowledge of what's going on here. And from what he knows, I know you read this is totally vulnerable. There's this one Lotus. That's about it. And the Commander as well. The Commander's unupgraded. And Forever, nice chase in here. Pushing I know you read this back, which admittedly, retreating is usually the better option. But I know you read this is being pushed back right into their base. They do have a Glaive coming in here in the back for Forever. But Forever is a defender. That's going to be fine. No problems there. I know you read this can at best scout out the northeast side of the map, figure out if anything's being built here, because there are resource spots. But no, there isn't. And that scythe, let's see, where's that one scythe in here so far? Second scythe not being built yet. Forever, not sure if they meant to, but their factory is at high priority, which might explain why they're having a hard time building everything else up. So is their commander. So yeah, this worker's going to be stuck here for a long time. Well, okay, six seconds. That's a long time in this game. I, mean, I know you read this. Might actually spot the scythe. Might have spotted the scythe if their glaive was a bit further down. Probably weren't thinking that at all, though. But Forever, putting on a nice distraction in the main part of the map. Does need to get that scythe over here, though. Get rid of the Lotus first. Or maybe, if not, get the factory off to the side. Like, just right to the side. Have to time it right so the warriors aren't in the map. Forever is aware of this. Like, Forever knows exactly what's going on, so there's no questions there. Forever can spot this out. And I know you read this, about to get hit by the scythe. Center of the map's basically no man's land. Forever doesn't have to worry too much. I know you read this is pushing heavily though. So Forever's gonna have to be a little bit careful. Does have a defender up, doesn't have their commander upgraded, and warriors are coming in pretty heavily. And that scythe just waiting, waiting patiently, though Forever is more focused on their main base and on the center of the map. But does he go back to the scythe and gets it in. Now will that scythe what about that scythe attack? Going for the metal extractor first! Oh, well, actually, going to die first. That's not the best option, but does go for the Lotus. Gets rid of that first, and I know you read this, forced to retreat somewhat. Keeps most of their units in their base, keeps a glaive back while the scythe goes around, just tearing apart all the economy. Now, at this point, I know you read this is going to have an economic disadvantage, but they are basically banking on winning by military. Like, I know you read this needs to win this push, and I don't know if they're going to do it. The Warriors are a bit of a wild card, but honestly, they are very powerful. I know you read this having the machine guns, so five heavy machine guns pushing in. 
Four of the Warriors, one of the Commander, and that will be a lot of damage being dealt. But forever getting up the Rockos, and that should put a stop to this very quickly. I know you read this is Commander coming in, trying to deal with those Rockos directly, trying to deal with Forever's Commander as well. Taking a lot of damage, though, upgrading to level 2, while the Scythe... Actually, the Scythe, has that been taken care of? Actually, the Scythe looked like... Yeah, it's, it's gone down, but still, Forever does get rid of I know you read this is Commander. Does lose their Commander as well. It's knocked down in the middle of the sky by a Warrior. I know you read this basically has... Well, that was the shot, and that does it. But at this point, Forever Night this is actually fairly even. In fact, I know you read this. Okay, really down on energy. In fact, totally dead on energy. The factory providing 0.3 energy. That's about it. So it'll be a little while before stuff gets built up. Like, actually, yeah, this is going to be how Forever wins. Basically by attrition, because Forever still has enough resources to make units in under a minute or so. Although it's like, I know you read this. They have a war at work around here somewhere, because they are reclaiming energy. Yeah, there we go. They are reclaiming energy from the trees. Lucky for them, there is a lot of energy reclaimed from the trees. So I know you read this still has a chance. Still can get up some conjurers, though, at this point. Glaive coming in for Forever, which Forever, as we can see, does not micro their glaives far better than I know you read this does. Nice metal snipe while they get the chance. Why not? And that glaive's not going to intercept them, and that's... That's still Forever's game, pretty much. And Conjurer coming in, what, trying to provide build power. You only got six energy. <laughs> Good luck providing build power. I mean, that's with the reclaim, too. Still, there's enough reclaim for that to work out for the rest of the game. <laughs> but that doesn't mean there's enough actual resources. There's only like, six energy. That's the bottleneck here right now. The factory can provide that no problem. This Conjurer's probably going around the map trying to find places to stick, metal, stick power plants that aren't that visible. But it doesn't matter, Forever can stream in Glaives one after another, and even then, take out the factory, and that is game! And I know you read this, throws in the towel, no GG once again. Seriously, guys. It's kind of rude. But anyway. That is... That is that. So I'll have another game for you guys in a minute, which will be Satoth and Google Frog to help the new sea balance on... What's the map? The map is Inculta Wet. Which I've actually never seen before. Should be interesting. I think it's more of a team map, but it's also a lot of water. Oh, 16 by 12. Okay, that's not that big. I guess it's just because water sea balance has been something that's always been a little bit off. We're testing the latest sea balance changes. That will be up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that.